the astroscope adapter is a modular assembly. Um, ideally, we like to get between the camera body, in this case an XL1S camcorder, and the lens, in this case an XL Series 16X lens. It is a modular assembly. We're using Gen 3 image intensifier mil spec components. Uh, essentially, we're three pieces. The common module central intensifier unit uh, uses Gen 3 image intensifier technology. Uh, we're using the same image intensifier used in the AN PVS 14 monoculars that our troops are carrying to the field. The monocular mounted on their helmet that they can drop down in front of their eye. We're using the same image intensifier technology, the same core component in our design. A Gen 3 image intensifier is basically a light amplifier. The way the night vision modules work is the uh, light comes in. This is the, this is the um, uh, front side of the uh, scene where you might be looking. Uh, here's an objective lens that's sitting on the front of the, of the system. There's a night vision module, a relay lens, and then the typical camera that's going to be used to, to, um, to view and record the scene. So what happens is you focus the lens and light that's at the scene is uh, brought in and here is red, green, blue, it's a very colorful image, brought in and focused onto this device here. Uh, at the front is a photocathode, it's a material that converts photons to electrons. So the light comes in here and, and uh, here it's a full color image and it's focused onto the photocathode. Photocathode is a device that converts the photons of any color to electrons. In fact, even near infrared light can be converted here. So, at the output of the photocathode are electrons. Um, these electrons are in a in a very very high electric field, and so they accelerate very fast, uh, and they impinge on this th device called a microchannel plate. Microchannel plate is a device with very very small channels in it, and as the electrons enter in those, they hit the sides of the microchannel plate and they uh, generate more electrons. So you have a flux of electrons that's growing as it goes through this, this uh, night vision module and it hits this device here called the phosphor, which is a phosphor screen. Phosphor screens, when they're hit with electrons, they fluoresce. This one fluoresces green. So the output here, um, uh, the output of the, of the night vision module will be all green. And what happens is then there's a relay lens that takes the output of the night vision module and it focuses onto the camera's detector. There are some interesting things that happen because of that. Uh, one of the things is that um, color photons, photons of various colors, red, green, blue, even some near infrared that you can't see with your eye that come in here, they actually produce electrons depending on the spectral response of this image intensifier and the photocathode. Um, and they're all, once they're electrons, they're electrons and they're all accelerated and then they go and they hit this phosphor screen. The phosphor has a characteristic. Now the, the wavelength of the original light is forgotten and the electrons then, when they hit the phosphor screen, they all create green. So that's why most um, most night vision images that you see are green. Actually, the, the phosphors are designed to be green. Humans can better differentiate shades of green uh, than any other color. Uh, when the originators of image intensifier tubes were creating this technology, uh, they were creating it really for night vision goggles, and the fact that the eye was most sensitive to green was, was a critical thing, so that's why they did that. Today, now, now that we have cameras and camcorders looking at image intensifiers, um, we don't really need the green. What we need is the most efficient phosphor, but um, green is a, as good as any. Color image intensifiers are available. Um, <clears throat> they are uh, slightly more complicated, actually significantly more complicated. Uh, one of the beauties of image intensifiers today is the very, very low power. Uh, they're used primarily in night vision goggles where you want to wear them all night without having to change the batteries. Um, color image intensifiers can be produced pretty easily uh, with a spinning filter wheel or some kind of a filter in front of the image intensifier to first let green go through, then red, then blue, and then on the output, uh, the processing puts it back together and produces a, a color image. The problem with that is you always have a filter in front of the camera so that you're losing a third of the, kind of a third of the light all the time, so, so the, uh, the output's never going to be as good as a monochromatic one, but the benefits are there. So the technology of the microchannel plate in there has improved significantly over uh, the last 10 or 15 years. And improved means that the plates have gotten smaller, the channels in the plate have gotten smaller and smaller to improve the resolution of the overall system. Uh, today, I think microchannel plates have a six micron uh, diameter, which is extremely small. And 
actually matches almost matches the digital camera uh, pixel pitches so it's uh, quite compatible on the output side of the image intensifier uh, which is this side here uh, where it glows green um, uh, between this and the camera goes a relay lens a relay lens is something to relay the image from here to wherever the uh, wherever the image sensor is in the camera um, so those relay lenses have to be also designed specifically for this ap application. They have to retain the resolution, and the resolution is very, very tight because you've got small pixels on this side and small pixels on that side. And also you want a uh, good crisp resolution from uh, center to edge. And um, of course you want the speed. The speed is critical, so you want very, very fast lenses. And then Everybody always wants lightweight, and they also want uh, small size, so it makes it a challenge for manufacturers like us. Another improvement that's happened over uh, recent years on image intensifiers is, um, is what happens when you're viewing in a nighttime scene a bright light. There might be a bright light in the, in the scene, and in the past, those bright lights would bloom the entire image, and obviously that's not an effective uh, result. So the, as the technology has improved, um, the uh, quality of the film of photocathode has, um, has improved and also uh, other improvements have been made so the blooming has decreased and, um, and that way you can actually see a scene with very very dark areas in it as well as bright scenes and that's typical for someone uh, videotaping in a, in a more urban setting um, where there would be dark areas as well as bright light sources. One of the anomalies of using a, an image intensifier on a uh, camera is that the camera often has an a lot of automatic uh, features like automatic gain to accommodate very, very bright and very, very dark situations. Uh, the output of the image intensifier is pretty constant and it does its own automatic gain control. So sometimes, uh, in, in addition to that, the cameras have autofocus. Now autofocus, so they're trying to, to um, uh, modify the, the lens in order to focus near and far with the image intensifier on it. Um, uh, sometimes the, it's looking at grains because of the very, very low light situation, and so uh, that confuses the autofocus. So these, three, these things really motivate you to put the camera in manual mode, let the image intensifier do everything for you, and actually focus, manually, uh, focus the lens manually yourself. That's really what you have to do at night to get the best performance. The resolution of these, uh, of these systems is really described in line pairs per millimeter. This one is uh, either 64 or 72 line pairs per millimeter, which is, which is a very, very fine resolution. Uh, in terms of pixel pitch or number of pixels, you'd expect a camera that had 2,000 pixels or something on a side to be approximately equivalent. So if you had a camera with a sensor that had more than that, the camera sensor would be exceeding the performance of the image intensifier tube.